I don't know. Because they it did say they'll remember that, and I don't blame them, you know. But, you know, like, I'm willing to be respectful even to, you know, criminals up to a point, you know? Not gonna be pushed around. But, you know, I can, I can shake a dude's hand. It's one of those things, you know, like, showing respect until, it's like, me. that would be bad, you know? Wait, did he just tell the cave it's me? And it's like, oh, sorry, all the lights, there you go. Episode 1. Is there a subtitle? I don't remember. I'm gonna say no. Realm of Shadows. Gonna change my answer to yes. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. Subtitles are really lagging behind, that's annoying. I didn't even show all the subtitles. In custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Hmm. My dent may have been involved in the breaking. Is that what they said? I assume the game's okay. There we go. Politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters, or will it be perceived as a desperate this. attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? Oh, I can actually like scroll and down. That's cool. We are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews uh, have given up trying. See, to I don't want to interrupt, but I want to read aloud. Just wait a minute. Burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that. Tar to breath black in. Smoke. Oh, subtitles. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for Oh, there's so much talking on the news. Family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge. Oh. Sometime just before dawn. It's not pleasant. Causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Are you done now? I think they are. Okay, then let's read this. Okay. Son of a gun. For the riders of Gotham's overcrowded sky rail cars to okay, well, you know what? It was paused there. You could read that. Pause and read it. I ain't gonna read it, you know. Police attendant tabs at the lead test force. You can pause and read that. And you can pause and read that if you'd like. The police don't have any suspects. Two more patients I believe that's all. Okay. From Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees now the codex. Oh, so again, you could read these things. So yeah. I really, really wish the news would turn off because I want to read all of this stuff, not only to myself, but aloud as well. But I'm, I know I'm going to get distracted with that going on, and I'm sure that you guys would too. Let's see if there, it ends after this at all. Come on, please end. I hate you so much. This is the most annoying thing ever so far. You know what? Screw it. Sorry if you guys actually did pause and read. I'm going to pause and read it myself now. So let's just drag this up. Okay. W to scroll. Just going to press that. Okay, so finally after making the decision, here we go. Just going to read over his voice. So, Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on any criteria other than the law, said Dent at a City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilantism in Gotham, from the uptick in citizen-led shootings to the costumed superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying a surge in popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog indexes in the state. His groundbreaking Victims Assistance Program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for re-election, since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. So then, yeah, police lieutenant tapped to lead task force. 
Um, but the cadet. Gotham City Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, okay, Peter Grogan, sure, appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a, ta a major task force after criminal chatter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing en masse in our city. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We will find them. Gordon earned an honorable discharge from the USMC before joining the GCPD, and has quickly risen through the ranks. He has frequently stated that the Marine Corps made him the man he is today. Wayne Enterprises funds Arkham Asylum replacement. So that's the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. Okay. The charitable aim of Wayne Enterprises, headed by Robert and Regina Zellerbach, has announced funding for a new mental health care facility to replace the outdated Arkham Asylum. For years, the asylum has made headlines for its inhumane approach to patient treatment and its violent, oftentimes deadly, prisoner escapes. But soon, that will no longer be the case. The Thomas and Martha Memorial Hospital, as it will be called, will offer a mixture of maximum security confinement with modern mental health care practices to truly heal those who are suffering. Ambitious plans are already underway to transfer current Arkham inmates as soon as construction completes and implement a critical program of rehabilitation and release. Okay, so we can exit out of that one. And now we can head back to the Codex. So they're just repeating the new stuff. It would actually never end because there's the happen to breath thing again. So yes. Thomas and Martha Wayne, founders of Wayne Enterprises. My parents. Dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve this city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempted robbery by a man known as Joe Chill, who was deceased. Alfred Pennyworth. Wayne family butler. Faithful, patient, ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. He's my butler, my confidant, and my most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey Dent, Gotham City District Attorney, Mayoral Candidate. A new friend and the best district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save this city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality, as seen with the Falcone. Hamilton Hill, mayor of Gotham City, so the current one. Exhibit A in what's wrong with this city. Oh, okay. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully, this upcoming election will be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. Cat burglar. Crimes, burglary, petty larceny. Or larceny. New criminal on the scene tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. James Gordon. Lieutenant, GCPD Major Crimes Unit. Associates, Barbara Gordon, daughter. He's a good by-the-book cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the Major Crimes Task Force. An impressive promotion, so he's doing something right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risks. Vicky Vale, investigative journalist, Gotham Gazette. One of the Gazette's most ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be pretty, can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. Okay, and that's Carmine? I don't remember Falcone. Skyline Club owner, head of Falcone crime family. The worst kind of gangster, one who tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him to jail, but he'd walk the next day. I could shut down one operation, but two would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding hard admissible evidence is required for a conviction. Gotham City. Population 10 million! That seems like a lot. I don't know. This city is like a living creature. It's always growing, outward and upward. The people who live here are survivors. They have to be. And they deserve better than the corruption that infests this place. 
Arkham Asylum. Established November 1921. Gotham City's only maximum security psychiatric hospital. For now. Outdated in every way. Building is falling apart, equipment is antiquated, and staff's methodology leaves much to be desired. When the Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital opens, these patients will finally get the treatment they need. Wayne Enterprises. Established in 1870. Multinational corporation founded by my ancestors, covering all manner of manufacturing and finance. I inherited a majority stake from my father, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. However, the R&D resources have been helpful in pursuing my private interests. Ah! Look at that! We... we read all of them so far. Alright. Should I actually be watching this? That's awkward, sir. You probably shouldn't just stand there for so long. Okay, well, movie tickets. <sighs> Mom, Paul. Okay. So where's this? Really fell off a building for this? Must be important in some way or other. Analyze the dead drive it back, computer. I will, but for now, I want to look at stuff. Or at least look at Bruce looking at stuff. Okay. Spare grapple gun. It could be doable. grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. That's good. That's the first time you've used smoke pellets or whatever? I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Okay, so those. EMP sticky taser! Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Yeah, probably. And the newest addition can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Ah. Ah, okay. I think that was everything. Well, there's a data port. Here we go. And then a chair comes up. Is that necessary? Let's find out what was so important. I just feel like it's not too much like of a hassle. Like a chair wouldn't be too in the way to just be there. <laughs> Encrypted. Of course. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. <laughs> In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. No. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. <laughs> yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal uh, in the process what are we looking at let me try a different angle and yes I am wondering by the way I haven't forbid if Bruce is voiced by the same person as Reese from you know Tales from the Borderlands I don't know but sometimes it sounds like him oh to rotate use these this is a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Maybe. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. It's and a zero percent, so... Yeah. I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. <laughs> Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Good. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? <laughs> it can again, Bruce. 
Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Not really. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. <laughs> oh, no, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Mm -hmm. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. <laughs> a necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. Though I hope you change careers someday. Maybe someday. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. But why is this a concern? I thought we wanted that. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oh, Oz. Oswald Cobblepot. Dishonorable discharge right? of legal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Definitely sounds like Cobblepot, but Richard that didn't look anything now. like Cobblepot from how I know him. Haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. <laughs> Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. <laughs> I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Fair enough. I mean, that's Penguin, you know? Oswald Cobblepot, that's Penguin. And I know him as this, like, short, fat, penguiny dude. So, I don't know. Who in one of the cartoons was voiced by the same person who voiced SpongeBob and the Ice King from Adventure Time, you know? I say that just because his name is slipping my mind right now. Like, usually I remember the voice actor's name, like that one, but not coming to mind right now. Where are you, Oz? What is his name? I can't remember it right now. It's like not important in the moment, you know, but just curious. With Gotham's Kingpin? Oh no. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Yeah, can't interact with you. It's probably because you're poor. Alright. Doesn't look like people clean this up, really. Let's give this guy some change. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Please don't buy booze with it. Hey, it's a burning barrel. Best kind. You know, for when you're cold, or you want s'mores, or it's dark, I don't know. I'm just saying they're versatile. Uh, returning late, meet you by the statue. Or running late, meet you by the statue. Well, there's the statue, but no Oz. Did he have our private number then, or...?
What are you noticing? That it's overturned? Hey, smoking man. Hey. Beat it. All right. <laughs> Unhappy smoking man. Angry at the world smoking man. Just trying to be more accurate. So if it is just Bruce goes up to something and he furrows his brow, like that's that's what the majority of this has been so far. Cobble Park. Well, that isn't 1927. What yeah, no, I I would imagine that I'd hope not. This is just a homeless place. Fell in love at a homeless place. That's the statue. Yeah, look! They're that's a dude. Watch wallet cash. But oh. This goes through you. Hmm. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Huh? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. Oh, no. And him. Gentlemen. Hey! Us. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, the the moment! Come here! I think that'll do! Oh! Kill. I pressed that too late. Stay down! Yeah! Used to be a nice place. No mm. lives like you don't belong. Oh. Ow. That even that's even worse. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? He's definitely different from any interpretation <laughs> oh. I've ever seen of Penguin. Hey Bruce, you've got a little uh Eh. Yeah. Good as new. Thanks. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Oh, it's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right Good. now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. Right. When it was this pretty, park I'd imagine. Used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. <laughs> Both of us. Are you jealous? <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad oh. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Yeah! The same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. No, we're not. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Were you at? You weren't at the party, Made were you? Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, 
we can agree in earnest. That's good. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. Mm. All he needs is a little push. And he'll topple. Not according to the codex. Tree to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Yeah. Started Things with are blood be on and the stuff. Soon, no? Wait, why? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. That is very ominous, from Which Batman's point of view. You, Bruce, you see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Yeah, I'm pretty successful. A revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. Well, then, yeah, it's how it sounded. You, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. As you break my windows? Okay. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Cheers. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on South Side of Park. Thank you, SMS. So all in all, the reunion with Oz could have gone better, but I dare say it could have gone worse. Let's look at the bright side of things, you know? Future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne Memorial Hospital. I wonder who that is. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. Hello, I am Mr. Wayne. Bruce, Bruce! Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the I need criminally to talk. insane. <laughs> oh, good, its I'm up here. Rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. <clears throat> but today, you can't ignore it. We're at an important press conference. From this man here. We break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? That's me. For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible. But inside, they're suffering. Yes. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. Is it Zorro? That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. <laughs> With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham.
I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? <laughs> uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. Hello, Julia. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. It's a fine welcome. You even shook his hand. Well, I think Mr. Falcone is a voter just like anyone else in this city. He came to learn about Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. <laughs> We're here about the hospital, remember? <laughs> but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. That's awkward. What if that's what Alfred was texting about? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Hmm. Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been that was in a different you. pocket the last time. Oh, that's what that was about. This is from the Paris. All right. Cue outro, go!